Right, before this video does start, I do want to let you all know that this update was made possible by Elixir So check them out in the description and use the code SPLODGEBOX for 50% off. Another thing that I want to mention is that I'll be picking 4 random people from the comments to have a free copy of this plugin. So just leave a comment and also like the video and you can have a chance of being selected to get this plugin for free. Hello, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showcasing a new update I have added to Elite Enchantment. This update is a web panel, which is a website integrated into the plugin, which allows you to add, remove and edit enchantments at the click of a button. This is ideal over YML files as they tend to break if the formatting is off and tend to become confusing after a massive amount of enchantments are added. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the panel and how it works. So let's get straight into it. All right, so first you want to execute this simple command slash ee or elite enchantments upload and then a group name. This website only allows you to edit a group at a time to decrease any issues and lag. So once you've executed this command, a link will be generated. So head over to that site. All right, so once you made your way to a website, you'll see it's a pretty clean design. Uh, you've got like your search bar, which you can search for any enchantment that you want. Uh, for example, gears, it shows up. And then there's also just a lot of nice, like, it's just a nice design. So to make a new enchantment, click add new enchant. Then just put in some name. I'm just going to put like, test values. It's just placeholders, uh, but you can add whatever you want. And then click add enchantments. Now this will, then you just need to search for the enchantment and just click edit. And this will just allow you to edit the enchantment. Now we're going to have to do something. So first you want to add a display name. This is what's going to be added into like the book. And it's also going to be what shows up when you apply the enchantment onto your item. There's also a require option, which means that it's just a requirement. So you can make it so it requires one enchant to actually apply this enchant. Uh, it's pretty, it's just optional. Uh, then you need to add what it applies to. I'm clicking all armor just for this example. You click anything you want. For type, you click whatever you want, but I'm clicking passive just for this test. Uh, then what you want to do, click edit. Then here you can change the level. So this is like what level this effect happens. Uh, it's just pretty much simple stuff self-explanatory uh, for the chance I would recommend you say I like whatever value you want But I'm gonna say it 200 because we're testing at the moment and this is just a showcase uh, But yeah for for effects you want to actually put an effect name So right now it doesn't auto fill but by the time this video comes out it will auto fill So then you won't need to search for the effect you just type in P and it will show up potion So you just want to fill out the options. I'm just gonna fill out with the default speed uh, potion effect and then once you're done with that you just want to click add effect now as you can see it's added a small bar which is the effect and you can add as many effects as you want you can add like a hundred but I don't understand why you would uh, but yeah once it's done you, as you can see it says one effect and it has all the values that you've added so once you have everything done just press done and then press save now this will generate a link uh, command for you to do so just execute that command in game and it will download uh, all the enchantments that you made and it will fetch them and automatically put it in the file It'll also make a backup for you So then uh, you can just continue with that backup just in case you Accidentally mess up something or you just want your old enchantments back. All right now big mistake from me I forgot to record an outro, but there wasn't really much to say So what I did want to say is a massive shout out to Luca uh, he's the developer who actually coded this panel, so you should check him out in the description I'll leave a link to his reddit and fiverr page. So go check him out We've been good friends for a while and I think that he's just one of the best developers I know and he's pretty much taught me what I know So I mean without him this wouldn't even be possible. So anyway, just check him out and uh, Also remember to leave a comment so you can enter into the giveaway. But yeah besides that that's it but uh, there was also some audio like uh, English problems. I'm pretty bad at English when it comes to videos I don't know why I just lose the ability to speak, but yeah, I hope you can just overcome that. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching this video uh, and have a nice day.